वेलकम टू थर्ड डेज एस क्यूएल चैलेंज सीरीज टूडे इज द डे टू एंड टूडे वी हैव क्वेश्चन फॉर फेसबुक एस क्यू एल डेटा एनालिस क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन इज इजी लेवल सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड द वीडियो सो एज्यूमिंग यू हैव टू टेबल्स वन इज फेसबुक पेजेस एंड वन इज फेस देयर लाइक्स सो राइट ए क्वेरी टू रिटर्न द आइडिया ऑफ द फेसबुक पेजेस दैट हैव जीरो लाइक्स द आउटपुट शुड शॉर्ट एट असेंडिंग ऑर्डर बेस्ड ऑन द पेजेस आई so basically we have two pages one is one is facebook page uh, pages where we have the information about the pages and one is the their like pages so let's see the table example we have the table example here we where we have this is the table of pages so we have page id and page name and similarly the example of the likes pages so these are the information for example and this is the like pages uh page likes so for the page like we have user id your page id and like date so what we need to find out that all the page id that doesn't have any basically like so uh, let's get started so first we will see the table so we can see that page id and page names and let's see the page likes tables so we have the page likes table user id page id and the like date basically so we will be solving this questions so let's go ahead and start so i don't need it i need page id so we need page id so page id from page so we are getting page id from the pages and we'll be using where condition conditions here where page id and we'll be using in sub query here in operator with sub query so now we will be using select using basically not in here not in select page id from page likes now we need to sort our order in ascending order so you can go ahead this order by one which is the page id or by default it states in ascending so let's go ahead and see the answer oops Let's see where we have done the mistake. Select page ID from pages. Sort of pages to pages. Okay, so these are the page that doesn't have any likes. So we can see that. Um, so this is the. So this is the example output. So in example output, you can see that this page has likes. This page has like. This page has likes, but. 701 and 728 page doesn't exist in the results so that means these are the page that doesn't have like so let's check the results now let's explain so the question is solved so that means it's just working you can see that it's working so uh let me just explain what we have done here so we have selected pages pages id okay so the we have selected page id from the first table which is pages and then what we have used we have used a where conditions and we have used not in basically in our logic here so using not in what we are saying that uh, show us the page id which basically doesn't match with the page id of this you know likes page so in likes page we have simply selected in a sub query we have simply selected page id from the likes page so this sub query will return all the page id from this likes page and what we are saying in outside this sub query is that only filter as the pages which doesn't match with this so basically we are filtering out this you know sub queries page id and we are getting the pages which doesn't exist in the sub query hence we are getting the outcome which is the page id and they do not exist in the basically sub query page in the you know like the likes page so that's it so uh, now let's move to the question number 2 So in question number two, we have uh, app click-through rate. 
that is also facebook interview sql questions so let's see how we can you know the questions so it's again easy category questions we have so the question is that assume you have one event table of facebook app analytics write a query to calculate the click through rate for the app in 2022 and round the results by two decimal so so we have event tables from the event tables we need to calculate click through rates so we have explanations here as well so click through rates basically you know number of clicks divided by the number of impressions so out of like how many people have seen the ads and out of those people how many of them has clicked so that's how we find out the click through ratio we need to divide the results by 100 100.0 so and that's how basically we'll be getting the percentage so uh so let's go ahead and, and see that how we can solve this uh, you know questions so i'll be starting with select <coughs> First, see the table okay so this is the table we have app id event type timestamp and this these are the example data like app id event type timestamp so basically we need to divide the click through rate divided by impressions and multiply into 100 and uh, 100.0 so that's how we'll be getting the results so this is the output result we should be getting so let's go ahead and you know solve it so we got app id and then we will be using a case id basically to you know create two new columns and one column will be having impressions count and one column will be having count of the click so then we can multiply you know like uh, click by the count and we will be getting the result so we can use case here case when even type equals click then one then one else zero and s click then we can use one more case when as we have only two you know two uh, event types click and impressions so event type equals impression then one else we want zero as impression we'll call it as imp from event stable so now we have also where conditions where we need to filter out you know the informations with 2020 so we will be using a where conditions here where extract where extract and the date column we have which is timestamp so i'll be using when where extract here from timestamp equal to 2022 so that's how basically we have got the app id and uh, the click uh, you know count on the click and impression so let's go ahead and see the results now in the line 5 so let's check select case when event type equals click so my help let me just correct it okay so when uh, event type equals click then one else zero so we need to say else zero and s instead of n it should be and s and s okay so that was a type error so now let's see the results so now you can see the results now we have the app id click so basically for this app id we have got all the click and uh, you can see there are multiple results for this id as well also we've got the click so wherever there is no click so we got zero if there is a click then we got click a uh, one so now what we will do basically we will uh, you know use a group by to group this all the you know informations all the app id and then count this and the impressions so we will be using group by here group by app id and we'll be counting this click so let's go ahead and 
use a sum function here so we'll be using one more sum functions and we'll be counting the impression as well so we'll be counting the impression as well and the click as well so once we count these two then we can see the result as well so let's see the result now you can see that we have almost got like you know our outcome so we have the app id and their click and impressions so we have the for one two three app id we have got two clicks and the impression is three so for this one click impression is three so let's go ahead and basically find the you know ctr so ctf to find the ctr we need to use like 100.0 into number of clicks divided by impressions so we need to use it so we cannot use it in this in this query so we'll be using a ct for that to you know to basically perform these calculations so ct stand for common table expressions so we'll be using ct as and we will put everything inside the ct now just re-optimize the query now we'll from this ct we'll be selecting ID and then we will be basically you know uh, divide this click divided by the impressions so we will be dividing by click for now the column name divided by the impressions which is this Oops. let me just make it smaller And then we will be basically uh, let's keep the table name which is from CT and uh, we'll be using a round by functions here round by 100.2 so 100.0 multiply with this outcome that we have and we call it as CTR ratio so let's go ahead and see the outcome oops there's some severe issues let me just check so we're rounding it by this okay we don't have to basically you know uh, write the whole information here i can simply write the column name which is we want to round by click divided by instead of because we don't need to write this query and it will not it will not work divide by impressions and we call it as and we want round it by two decimal so now let's go ahead and see that so now you can see that for this FID we have like 66 percent that means out of three you know impressions we got two clicks and for this we have got only 33 percent so basically out of three impressions we only got one click as per our you know previous results which i would was you know checked so now let's go ahead and see if this is correct so we can see that we have solved the problem so let me just explain what we have done here so we wanted to find out for each app id what is the click and what is the impressions uh, you know once we find the result of click and results of impressions we can divide the click by impressions and multiply 100.0 to find out the click through ratio so uh, what we have done and also we have basically extracted the year from times uh, timestamp and filter it with 2022 because we need the results for 2022 so what we have done so basically we have first used a case statement to basically give the event type click as one if there is no click then we have given it as zero then we have same we have done for the impression as well one and zero and then basically we have used a group by for the app id to see like how many and we have used the sum functions to see how what is the total number of click and total number of impression for the app id and after that we have used a ct uh, to basically find the ctr so basically where you have selected the app id from this query and rounded by the total basically you know click divided by the total impressions and uh, basically rounded by two so that's how we got the ctr that's it for this video thank you so much for your time
and watching the video if you like the video do subscribe to my youtube channel if you have a different approach to solve this problem uh, do leave a comments i would like to see them see you next day take care and bye bye